Here's how I made a massive open world for my game. Right, so what are core trees? They were conceived in the 1970s as an efficient way of storing data into a tree structure. This is done with a series of nodes, where each of these nodes can either have no children or four children, hence core trees. So how does this apply to a 20 km square world then? Well, you can use quad trees to generate mesh nodes for the terrain and use the player's position as a detail point for the system. This means that each node will be a terrain chunk that can behave however you want it to behave. But the whole point of using quad trees for this is to generate more detail around where the player is. So in the tree, the closer the node is to the player, the more it will be recursively split until it has reached some minimum size that you'd have to define yourself. So for me, it's 20 by 20 meters. Altogether, this leads to a very well optimized LOD system for the terrain. Combining this with procedural generation as I've done, you can create near on infinite worlds with draw distances that stretch all the way into the horizon.